Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you guys with a brand new video. In today's video, we're doing something I have not done on my channel in quite some time. Um, we're doing a top five series video uh, talking about the brand new palace season, the winter 2018 lookbook. We finally got the entire season before we just had a little preview, like a set of 19 photos. I did review those photos in a video before, but now that we have the full lookbook, I've been getting asked a lot what I think about it, if I'm gonna be copping stuff, and honestly, I thought this is a perfect time to make the videos. We've already gotten our drop list from Supreme. I made a video talking about that yesterday, so if you're curious, of my opinions of like resell yada 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 go check out that video one time for me I'd appreciate it I will say really quickly I still do not know what to cook tomorrow on supreme so I need you guys to comment down below not only your favorite palace items of the season but also help me out with what to buy tomorrow everyone's hyping up this cat in the hat hoodie um, I'm not buying into the hype but at the same time like I don't know like maybe you guys are all gonna be going for that I might go grab a license plate hopefully I won't take an L if I still somehow take an L um, even when like the license plate isn't the most hyped item I'm gonna be salty but check out that video tomorrow let's get into this video today though we're gonna stop talking about the future top five palace items I was supposed to be wearing palace for this video and I just realized that did not happen so my apologies let's get into it I hope you guys enjoy so starting it off at number five we got the infamous four loco palace fleece jacket if you guys don't know what four loco is it's just like a very cheap alcohol that um, this reminds me of the little like camo the bright vibrant camo reminds me a lot of that little can I'm honestly like not that crazy about this fleece I personally would never buy it if you want your clothing to be very very loud this is obviously a piece for you um, one thing I don't like about this is honestly the only really like solid colorway I think is the red purple color um, this color is very loud and like a little obnoxious almost gives me a headache just to look at the other two colorways are very dull the woodland camo is like way too dark and the gray and black is just obviously kind of boring I wish they had done more multicolored combos of this I think they could have made some awesome colorways they kind of missed an opportunity there so that's why this jacket's at number five quality will definitely be there though so if you guys are looking for a comfy jacket there's a little vibrant maybe a little loud um, this is definitely the item for you but let's go into the number four slot so next up we got the pal boy t-shirt this is a very cool tee it reminds me a lot of like the sandwich t-shirt from I think that was last season um, we got the little old-school remote controller in the form of a trifurg though this time which I think is awesome it obviously looks really good I think this design's cool it reminds me a lot of, like the n64 controller when I was running shit on smash you already know um, we was out here from day one running kids link baby let's get it <laughs> I think they did a good job of the colorways with this shirt. They obviously tried to choose out colors that kind of match the buttons inside like um, the controller itself. I like the black the most because it just looks like the controller is like floating in space or something. I don't know. I think it looks the best. The back also looks the best on the black. The back is very cool. The whole shirt I think is awesome. Palace killed it on this t-shirt. I'm personally not going to buy this one, but I could see people rocking with this and I think it's the coolest tee. They did it the entire season, so good job with this one, Palace. Kind of a bad thing. This is the best tee of the season though because the rest are pretty weak in my opinion. Opinion, um, but let's go on to the number three slot. So next up is an item I would definitely go out and actually buy if I had the money to spend on the retail palace asks for. Like this shit's gonna be very expensive. It's denim, um, but we got like the positive ass face denim, the positive vibe denim. I don't know the actual name of it, but um, this shit gives me just positive energy because it looks very nice. Everyone just so happy and smiley on this jacket. They've obviously never checked out from palace. All these smiley faces have never had to go through that fucking like torturous process in their lifetime. So obviously they're happy. I actually don't think this jacket will sell out that insanely fast like if it did I'd be kind of surprised maybe I don't know it maybe could it's cool denim they always have these really cool like suits full of like weird colors and stuff this is their like full denim suit for this season I like it the most out of like maybe any full denim suit they've done and maybe ever like I actually really like this the pants I'm not as crazy about but this jacket I think is super nice like I just love like the look of it I don't know it looks vintage as fuck like I rock with it um the palace spell outs in the mouths are super sick as well they hit it off so definitely a cool jacket um I I don't know I just rock with this one but let's keep going now all right so at the number two slot I think this is such a slept on item I watched Jacob Starr's video of the entire palace season he didn't even mention this long sleeve in his entire like review which surprised me a lot I was like bro what the hell like this is so fire but maybe I'm the only one rocking with this because you already know your boy loves the stripes um I gotta earn my stripes one time screw that we just go buy them off palace um so we got the fire very very fire I don't even know the name of this again so this thing's called the peeves long sleeve burgundy this shit go 
crazy, bro. I am such a big fan of this. I'm gonna go cook this one up. I almost didn't even want to put this in the video because I feel like a lot of people aren't like looking at this item. I haven't heard anyone talk about this long sleeve. Um, Palace has not dropped a long sleeve I was like crazy about in quite some time. This long sleeve absolutely is it for me personally at least. I love this colorway. It reminds me a lot of like the Thrasher. Um, I don't even know what color, like Maroon Thrasher Supreme collab color they used. I had that hoodie back in the day and I absolutely love that color. Your boy looked kind of cute in it maybe. So I have to go acquire this. I love this Palace spell out. It's my favorite spell out. I almost prefer this spell out over the actual Trifurg itself to be honest. I think it just blends on clothes nicely. I like how it's hollow. You already know we rocking with the hollow tip Palace spell out. The other colorways are interesting. I actually like hate the teal a ton. If they'd made the teal like a predominantly orange with teal accents, I thought that would have been crazy. Um, the black's pretty fire, I won't lie, but I don't like the gray too much in the black, but um, the maroon one is gas as hell. You already know your boy bullying up on that thing, and we actually might do a live cop of that long sleeve. Who knows? Um, sub to the channel if you haven't, you're still watching, because you might see some live cops of Palace this season. There's a couple items your boy got his eyes on. You already know we scoping up a couple Palace, oh geez, we scoping up a couple Palace joints this season. That was cringy. Um, next up, I have two quick items I want to introduce and just shout out one time before we get to the number one slot, which I know you guys are awaiting on. Some of you might already know what it is, because like, all right, we mostly all know what it is. Some of you don't though. Quickly, I have to shout out this first item, um, this Palace GB London, or also known as the Boy Racer six panel. Boy Racer sounds a lot cooler. Uh, this reminds me a lot of some like old school NASCAR hat or something like that, um, which I think is super awesome. You have like all these swirls and colors going all over it. Like I've seen so many NASCAR hats that look a lot like this. This is like an example of what I'm talking about, but this one's with like M&Ms. Tell me this is not crazy as hell one time. I should wear this in a video, bro, honestly. I thrifted this back in the day. If you want to cop this, like Loki hit me up. I've been trying to sell this forever, but this kind of way goes what I'm talking about. Like the all over like vibrant like look. Um, you got like a predominant spell out. The colors they chose for this hat, I love a ton. Like I would almost go grab this, but for whatever reason, P caps look horrible on me. Otherwise you'd see me rock them. I have a feeling that this hat as well is gonna just look terrible on my head. I mean, I guess every hat looks horrible on my head. I know you guys are ready to roast me down in the comments, but um, I, this probably fit my head weird. I actually love the design though. Very, very original hat by Palace. Shout out to you guys. Every colorway is gorgeous. Like they chose very vibrant colors, but I think it looks appropriate on this hat. The other item I have to shout out though before we get to the number one slot is this Persian hood. And the reason I just wanted to shout this out real quick is because, um, again, when I watched Jacob Star's video, he said this looks like a Kuji sweater, which I totally agree with. Um, it gave me that feel as well. Um, one thing though, bro, they could have set this one off if they put little like peas in it somewhere in like that design. Um, that would have looked insane. As you can see, there's these little like scriptures going on, whatever. If they'd put some palace peas in there somewhere, like little like hidden palace spellouts or something like that. I think this would have been like one of the hardest items of the season because I actually really like this jacket. I don't even know why I rock with it so much, but it just, I don't know. It's a very interesting jacket. It looks warm. I like that it's a zip up. I don't have a lot of zip up jackets that like you can fully zip up all the way. I have mostly like hoodies and pullovers. So I would really like to go grab this. If it had little palace peas all over it, this would have set it off. This would have been like my favorite item of the season. They got to go hire me at Palace. I mean, they blocked me on Instagram, so like they never will, but they should have hired me because I could have made this sauced up but they didn't allow it to. The chef was not in the kitchen at the time of the cooking, so we could not put our secret sauce into the mix. Unfortunately, Palace, you missed out. I would have made this one so fire, but let's get to the number one slot, which is this fire. Oh my god, bro. This shit is actually gonna make me drop a check. Like, Palace is trying to tempt me so bad. You guys might not know, but I have my man Orangetron in some, like, cringy-ass joke back in a couple videos. You know we copping the fuck out of this. Your boy Orangetron done pulled up. Basically, I've been rocking with orange so dumb hard, like, the last year. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I like the color orange so much. Palace noticed that. Palace knows, like, that I've just not been rocking with their website or their brand in general. They decided they had to go make me look stupid by dropping the absolute heat. This jacket is perfect. Like, I think they killed it. Initially, I thought this jacket was white and orange because I saw a photo in the lookbook where it looked white. Turns out it's 3M. Even better, like, oh, damn, bro. When I saw it was 3M, my jaw a little bit dropped. I won't even lie. Um, the other colorways are kind of weak. Like, the black is very boring. The blue is just kind of boring. This orange, though, oh, my God, bro. I already have an orange jacket. It's actually, like, fire, too. I might have to go drop off my Nautica one at, like, the orange jacket orphanage or orange finage, I should say. <laughs> um, whoa, that was a stretch. But this jacket is perfect. Like, the quality, I'm guessing, 
casing is going to be insane. There's little like tonal um, trifrigs on the inside going all over. This thing is just crazy, bro. The hood's detachable as well, which is a very vintage thing to do. Like every vintage jacket has that, I swear. So this is just an absolute cop. I don't know, bro. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like I don't want to spend the check. I know it's going to be so much money, but damn. Let me know what your guys' list is of top five best palace items. Hopefully you guys agree with mine. Maybe I introduced you some new stuff. Maybe I missed out on some stuff. I know I didn't include bags. You might be wondering like, bro, where are the bags at? Um, the bags to me, like they're fire. I definitely think the bodies are good, but the colorways are weak. Like the yellow is just not doing it for me personally. So I give it a plus for all the bags, like the new body bags they gave are fire. Um, but honestly, like I'm not into the colorways. If they'd done more colors, I would have liked them more. That's the end of the video though. I don't know, I'm rambling. So I need to end this one. I love you all. It's been your boy Boone. Go join the Discord. I just realized I was supposed to rate a subscriber's outfit in this video and I'm not doing it. So I swear I said I was going to rate one this video. I promise you guys I'm going to do one um, like Friday's video or something. Friday or maybe even tomorrow I'll rate a subscriber's outfit. I promise. Probably tomorrow actually. I promise I'll do it soon. So send in your outfit. BoonFitPicks at gmail.com. I'm still rambling so I'm going to end this one. It's been your boy Boone. I love you all. Uh, yeah, shout out to the ghosts that watched all the way through. Like if you're still watching this shitty outro, like bro, you're the goat. I love you. Deuces.